we just figured out how to break the universe's speed limit. For 30 years, warp drives have been theoretically possible. Compress space in front, expand it behind, and ride the bubble faster than light. Einstein's equations allow it, but exotic matter, negative energy, made it impossible. This matter might not exist, and if it did, you'd need universe scale energy to move a single ship. Warp drives were physics fantasy, until now. Physicists at Applied Physics asked, what if we don't need exotic matter? They created the constant velocity subliminal warp drive using ordinary matter, a stable shell with modified space-time geometry, no negative energy, no universe-breaking physics. And it works. The math checks out, satisfying Einstein's field equations. Here's the genius. You're not moving through space. Space is moving around you. The ship sits still inside a bubble that compresses space ahead and expands it behind, potentially at near light speeds. You're not breaking the speed limit. You're changing the road. They even built Warp Factory, a reality check for warp drive designs. This isn't theory, it's engineering. Can we build one tomorrow? No. Energy requirements are still massive planet scale power. But for the first time, it's not impossible. It's just hard. Applied Physics calls this the beginning of the Warp Age. Proxima Centauri is 4.2 light years away. With chemical rockets? 80,000 years. With a warp drive? Maybe decades. Maybe less. The stars just got closer. From impossible to inevitable. The question isn't if anymore, it's when. And who gets there first? If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science.